Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how can we do retrieval augmented generation or RAG with grip tape. We already have done thousands of videos on RAG and I'm not exaggerating on the channel in the last couple of years. So let me try to quickly explain what RAG is in very very simple words and then we will see what grip tape is. So look, all of these large language models we see all around us they have been trained on a huge amount of data we all know that but these models are not aware of for example who is fahad mirza they don't know about me because their training data set might not include it and so same is the case with your enterprise data um, which could be confidential these llms have no clue about them so if you want to glean intelligence out of your own enterprise proprietary data from these llms you have to use a rag there are other options to fine tuning and stuff, but they are expensive. So in order to provide a context of your own data to these LLMs, you have to use RAG. So this is the whole idea behind RAG. And how do you do this? You just take your own data, you divide it into smaller chunks, you convert, in, convert it into <clears throat> numerical representation called as vectors. You store those vectors in a vector store or a vector database. And then whenever someone asks a query about your data from LLM, First, you take that query, you convert it into a vector, you do a similarity search in your vector store, and then you retrieve only similar results. You might also optionally rank them, and then you append that best similar result with the user's prompt, give it to LLM, and that's how LLM gets more context around user's data and it answers it. Uh, the user's query not only from its own intelligence but from the grounded context of your own data that is the whole idea behind rag and rag pipeline so we are going to see how can we do this rag with this grip tape grip tape is a modular python framework which makes it easy and flexible to build ai powered applications that securely connect to your enterprise data and apis we already have covered grip tape in various other videos where we have seen how to do transcription with it, how to generate audio with the help of AI agents and how to do vision tasks and stuff. But in this video, we are going to do the rag. Just to give you an overview of this grip tape, uh, it consists of com components like AI agents running tasks. Those tasks are fundamental building blocks and the task basically uses a tool to do something. That tool could be a vision tool that could be web search that could be anything so this is how this works and you can build a very well orchestrated application with a grip tape so let's get it installed and then we will see how it works before i do that let me also give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on a very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in videos description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpu so do check them out so this is my previous system so let me exit from here i already have installed it so i was just testing it out but i will just do it again in front of you let's do it so i have just deactivated my conda environment I am going to use the same Conda environment. So I'll just activate it. And if you don't know how to create it, let me give you the command. So this is how you create a Conda environment. I already have it, so I'm not going to create again because it takes a bit of a time. Okay, so now we have this Conda environment. Let's install Cryptip. And in order to install it, all you need to do is to run this pip install command. As you can see that it is already installed in my Conda environment. Once that's done, I would highly suggest that you set your OpenAI's API key. And this is the only thing which I find that they need to improve at the moment to make sure that it works with local model, but that is not the case. So you would need to set your OpenAI's API key here and that you can grab from platform.openai.com. That is a paid option so that you're aware of it. So let me set my key and clear the screen. And now let me show you this in action. Let's create a new code file. I'll just call it, call it app.py. Let's open it in my VS code and I will show you the code in VS code. Okay, so let me paste the code here. And first let me save it and then walk you through what is happening. 
So in grip tape, as I mentioned, everything is modular. What grip tape does, it uses artifacts uh, and drivers. So the main thing is driver. For every task, it uses a driver where uh, for vision task, it has a separate driver. For a text task, it has a separate driver. And for transcription, it has separate driver. And that is why we are again going to use this vector store and engines with it. So if you look here, we are giving it this driver. And then we are specifying the engine that we want a rag engine and these are the different components and i will show you how can we knit it together and then we are defining the rag tool so first up we are defining a local mem in memory vector store here and these are some of the data it could be uh, <clears throat> your own data so <clears throat> or the reference document so in this one we are, have just given it that grip tape builds this and grip tape agent provides this it could be any number of lines you want but i just want to keep it short and then we have just inserted or upserted which means that if it is uh, the data is not in that vector store it is going to insert it if it is already there it is going to update it that is that operation is called as upsert and then we have defined this rag tool which primarily takes an engine which is a rag engine and then it also takes a vector store which we have defined above so you see um, we have defined the component separately and then we are knitting them together here uh, and that is the beauty of it you can of course use any other vector store which is supported of course and that you can check it on your in their uh, documents which i will drop the link in video's description and from there we are just getting the results back so this is where agent is doing the rag so what is happening here is we are giving this agent a question agent is going to search it in the vector store with the help of this rag tool this rag tool primarily uses this rag engine and that rag engine checks this vector store to for the actual information if it finds any similar document it returns us the result that is all there is to it so we already have now understood the code let me go here let's clear the screen and let me run this app.py this is going to start the engine and then there you go so this is the input grip tape question agent is going into the vector store and it has retrieved that data out of it that is the whole beauty of this grip tape that it really makes it so easy to integrate this rag tool within with uh, AI agents and that I really really like about it the only thing is that it would be really good if they could support any local model but that is not the case anyway if you're interested in learning more about crypto please search my channel I have covered it in heaps of videos already so please check it out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching